Hey there guys, and welcome to episode 37 of Paper Mario Thousand Door and the Thousand Year Door Solar Run. In the last episode, we um, got the cold matches, and hold on, let's do that later. Well, boy, how the cost fix for a fight, huh? Well, alright then. Let me just see here. Next opponent will be ranked 8 in the Glitz Pit, the Pulgar Faces. Now listen, son, in this battle, I want you to stand pat, okay? Do not attack at all. The crowd loves your partners. Give them what they want. Drive them bonkers. Now get in there and share that spotlight. And that's with a few I don't like getting because that means I have to do nothing but super guard. Mr. Gonzalez, it's time for your next match. Come with me. And some of those matches, it's impossible to win if you only super guard. Because not I many some enemies use range attacks and therefore won't work. In this case, it will work. In other cases, it won't. Uh. For the next battle, we got the Merciless Execution of the Great Gonzalez and the Ultimate Weapons. Yep, a fight to the finish with the Poker Faces. Let me at him. Yeah, bring it. You ready for a pin? Ooh, you're gonna be cold, saw kid, and that ain't good. Get ready yourselves ready too. Battle. All right. So, last episode we um we got into the major league, but made a mistake by not clearing the win condition, so we had to fight the armored harriers twice. Um, fortunately, we got past that, and now um now we're into this one. So this one only allowed since our only our partner can attack. The only way I. I have to use super guarding. Thankfully, I'm against enemies that actually can be damaged by super guarding. Because there are some cases in this run where I had a word, you have to do not said do not attack at all, and I had enemies that couldn't be damaged by super guarding, and just had to I basically couldn't win, have to automatically quit. That's why I'm. I have to be careful. Like that's why I make sure to save because in case I get the wrong thing. Uh, the wrong clear condition, like that, for instance, then, you know, I have to reset all progress, so. Anyway, it's not too hard, just have to super guard everything. And one more appeal, so we're gonna be back to full uh, star power. Once they. Once I stop dodging them with the luckies, uh, lucky instance. And yes, the audience will leave if you're doing nothing. <laughs> or rather, if you're doing no, if you start doing no damage, the audience members slowly leave. On the bright side, over the major league, uh, doing more. we got ourselves a winner, the Gray Gonzalez. Ha ha ha! How that floor taste. Um, since we're in the major leagues, we're actually getting more ex more star points now, so you know that should help. Whether or not we'll level up during this is yet to be determined. Still to be determined. Kazala, you hear that? You just got another email. See what it is, man. It's from our mystery ex dude. Go to some watering hole, huh? Okay, whatever. I'll give anything to know who that this dude is. Huh. Alright, well, hopefully we'll find out at some point. <laughs> and yeah, now the Yoshi gets stuck, so that's. That safer flurry that is. Um, that's three out of four partners have gotten stuck on walls or things like that. <laughs> Go figure. Oh, oh you're Mr. Gonzalez? Yeah, that's the mustache I've been waiting for. Actually, you're pretty late. Somebody left a package in a note by the door a bit ago. The letter said, look for a thick stashed man named Gonzalez. Give him this. The, thi the this the letter was talking about is this. <laughs> Not bad. Now you get a stronger hammer. And of course, that means Toad asked him to come out of no uh, show up out of nowhere.
And yeah, so those giant yellow blocks we've seen around uh, Rogue Fort, we can actually break them open now. See you later, Toadette. So far as I can tell, that hammer's a new model. The Hammer Whack 2005. Real nice hammer all around. Solid scratchmanship. Good grip. High bunk ability. The commercials for this thing say that the hammer chooses its user. They aren't cheap either, so whoever gave this to you must be a big fan. But why leave in this shoe shop? Doesn't that strike you as a bit odd? I mean, it's not like it's that hard to hand a gift to a pro fighter. Gonzalez, email time! Lucky in the Meyer Lee locker room, huh? Wonder what's behind it. And yeah. Cause I just just noticed that as I was talking to that um the bark tender. <laughs> or the <laughs> juice shop owner since it's the Nintendo game. Ah, Gonzalez, isn't it? I got the word that you wanted to move back down to the minor league again. Can't say I understand why. Anyway, go on in. <laughs> Apparently you can do that. Gonzalez, that's some scientific, uh, some kind of scientific from the Crystal Stars. Who'd be investigating those things besides us? They even took pictures. Who'd leave something like this lying around? This just reeks of funny business. point, but and someone's someone had to tell them we were allowed in here. Dang, what's with her? We busted our humpskin information. Some people just got a rain on parades. Well at least we know the crystal stars here. Yeah, at least, but where? <laughs> Soon to come, I guess. Alright, next cut. Um, I'm not, again, I'm not sure what it, it's either for a different recording session or because I got the wrong, oh, that's why, because I forgot, to, I think I forgot to heal before the battle started and I lost. I think I'm <laughs> I think I'm actually leaving to get my team KO'd. Or something. Yep, thought so. Either that or I'm getting a badge or something. Either way, we'll, we'll see. I'm getting a bit of ahead of myself. <laughs> Figuratively and literally speaking.
Uh, oh, I know. I thought I was going to that other path for a sec. Hey, aside from that blue, that box in there, I'm not really sure what else I'd be down here for. Alright, I'm just going there to get them KO'd, I guess. So that is, in fact, what I'm last here for. Like, oh yeah, because uh, the enemies in Rogueport are a little too weak, so that's why. <laughs> Not that the enemies here are terribly strong, but at the very least, um, they do more damage. Um, the only one who's really not going to take much damage from is Coops. The one problem with using the the bed blitz spit is that anytime you use one of the beds, it heals every partner, like everybody, and that doesn't work that well with uh, in a solo run. I also get as much damage on some of them as I can. <laughs> one of the piranha plants just ate another piranha plant. Yeah, that'll randomly happen. Um, there are a, lot, a couple more random things that happen in the audience, but that's the one that seems to happen. Um, are the only one that really affects the numbers, at least at the moment. I think there are other ones later on. Switch out the coops so we can at least take a little bit of damage. Oh, <laughs> almost pressed the wrong button. Oh. Alright, that's Gumbella down. So, on to this one. Got to this point where I didn't really need what, um, two hits of damage per turn. Uh, so there we go. So Flurry's gone, and then I'm just gonna change partners to Yoshi to uh, switch back and forth between them and him and Coops. Purposely avoiding hitting them so I can have them last as long as possible. I 
now that I've got... Oh yeah, that's right, now I've got the... Um, the Super Hammer does four points of damage, and that way I don't need to use Piercing Blow or Power Smash on the clefts anymore. Or at least these ones. And fortunately, I can actually win to kill the Piranha Plants here, at least. Uh, not that much. Not too much there, but still. Makes things a little quicker. The same principle applies. Like every two floors, the enemies respawn. So when I go back, uh, they'll be there again. Well, partially the reason I went over here is because that the uh, the dark puffs can actually knock Coops over and just do more damage in general to him, even when he's guarding. Or of course, because th um, since you know the thunder attack uh, pierces defense. <laughs> there we go. Done. Nice. So switch to Yoshi and get him KO'd. Now we'll be back to where we need to be. <laughs> Hence why you don't jump on spiked enemies. Guessing, I think I was trying to avoid that enemy with um, the cleft, and that might have been why I, I jumped. Because based on that result, I'm definitely not trying to get Yoshi KO'd. So yeah, purposely avoiding it then. Oh. <laughs> Usually it does that, it's going to stop, but apparently not. One of the good things about the hammer being stronger is not to rely on super guarding to defeat these class quickly. Alright, so with that out of the way, now I can go back to the glitz bit.
So Yoshi doesn't even really jump this area, he just kind of slides up and d up and down them. Eh, whatever, I guess I have to figure out something. I just kind of play in there with it to save it that block or save it the other one. So I'm just going straight back then, not even saving in town. Now with that little side errand out of the way, let's head back in, uh, back inside. And with that, I'm going to get ready to end the episode here, so I'll catch you guys next time for more of the Paper Mario and the Thousand Year Door Solar Run. Catch you guys then. Bye, guys.